Today, we're going to talk about affirmations. You've heard of affirmations before, right? The thing is, they don't work if you don't believe them. When I work with my clients with the Think Yourself Thin program, clients that are highly overweight, I can't make them stand in front of the mirror and say, I am thin. Or when I work with my clients that are in deep financial struggles, it's not going to work to make them, make them stand tall, put their hands on their hips and say, I am rich. This is not how it works. Their brain goes, no, we're not. What are you talking about? This is totally out of whack. That's not at all on my list. Because you remember, you all have a personal assistant in your head writing notes and writing down everything that you say. So your personal assistant, when you say things like that, if you are highly, highly in debt and you say, I am rich, your unconscious mind goes, what are you talking about? No, we're not. So the programming needs to happen at an unconscious level. So this is what I do. I work with my clients at an unconscious level to recreate different thoughts so that eventually the logical, the unconscious mind will start believing you. Now, if the gap between what you want and where you're at is too big, you need to start closing this gap. Okay, so there are some fast track processes that I do with my clients and I work at an unconscious level and I, tr and I can uh, easily change and accelerate the process so that I propel my clients to become what they want to be right away. Um, it needs to happen at an unconscious level, so it's quite hard for you to do this by yourself at a logical level. That's what I do. Now, there is though something that you can do yourself today. And I'm gonna give you this technique to get the process started. Is it gonna be as fast track as the processes that I do with my clients? Not quite. However, it will get you started. So here's the technique. It's a two-step technique. Step number one, you need to repeat the thought you just heard in the past. First step, put it in the past with the words I used to. I'll give you an example after. Step number two, a progressive statement. A progressive statement starts with, I am willing to learn, or I'm in the process of, okay? So here's the example. You hear yourself say, I'm so stressed out. First step, you say, oh, what did I just say? I need to rephrase that. I used to be stressed out. So your personal assistant hears it and said, uh, well, actually, this is true. But why are we talking about this in the past? Are, are we done with this? And then it wonders, is it not? The person who is not sure. So then you say, now I am willing to learn how it feels to have a balanced life. So your personal assistant goes, yes, it's true. We used to be stressed out. Are we done with this? Well, I guess we're done with this because now we're willing to learn how it feels to have a balanced life. So you want to be rephrasing what you just heard in the past and then use a progressive statement. So go ahead, start rewriting the monologue in your head and changing the orders you give to your personal assistant and start closing the gap so that when you talk to your unconscious mind, your unconscious mind goes, yes, I know exactly what you mean. I'm putting that on the list.